guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're gonna talk a little bit about Godzilla. And before we get into that topic, I'm going to just kind of give a quick rundown of where I've been in the last six months, why I haven't done any videos. So basically, uh, you know, for those of you who are still on the channel who will see, whoa, he made a video, let me check this out. And you haven't been here for a long time. Most of the people who watch me during my streams kind of know how I work with my channel. Um, this is a hobby for me. This is not me trying to make a career out of being a YouTuber. That's just not, that's just not what I, what I do. Uh, I do this as a hobby. I love doing it, but at the same time, I do have obviously children. I work things of that nature. And I tend to work contractually, which means that I get assignments to do certain work and I work for a certain period of time. And then when the contract's up, I move on. Uh, usually in between contracts, I have downtime, which is when I tend to do most of my content. Uh, the other reason is also because while this is Entertainment Talk Nation, and I obviously love talking about all things entertainment related, uh, most of my viewers, most of the subscribers here are Godzilla fans. And as you know, uh, there's been quite a dry spell of any Godzilla news, which is what we're going to, to address here. So for those of you who are still around and watching this video, Thank you for sticking around, and I appreciate that. I have been active. I do stream on a regular basis, even without the video. So hopefully, if you're not there when it's live, maybe you've caught a couple of episodes of that. But um, I know that not everybody either likes to watch streams or has time to watch streams. So if you've remained subscribed and you're still committed to watching the videos, I want to thank you for being patient, and I hope you understand. Again, this is a hobby. I love doing this, but when I when I'm working, I try to focus on work family, all that stuff comes first. And this is just a fun, entertaining way for me to communicate with others that have uh, like, you know, very similar interests. So now on to the big G, where's he been? Where art thou Godzilla? Well, you know what? There's been nothing. I mean, we've spoken about this on the streams, you know, again, we have a lot of Godzilla fans on this channel for those who are still here and I get it. It's tough. We've been through this before, you know, uh, as Godzilla fans, while we're used to these big gaps in terms of what's going on, what's next for Godzilla, uh, it's always painstaking. You know, it's always like, God, when are we going to hear something? And this is not exclusive to Legendary. You know, this has happened with Toho as well. Um, I myself have gone through many gaps of no Godzilla films, you know, from watching them as a kid in the late 70s to the early 80s, and then not catching up with Godzilla again until like the mid-90s, when some of the earlier 90s movies started transitioning over to cable. And then later on, once DVDs became a big deal in the late 90s, well, I'm showing my age. Um, and then once the 2000s came in, it was more accessible. It was a lot easier to get some of those films. And then we had, you know, the last Godzilla movie in 2004, and we went with another 10-year gap. So this is not exclusive to Legendary. We've done this before with Toho. And it always sucks. It always sucks. Um... Right now, if, you know, one of the things I talk about, sorry, I'm getting a lot of messages here. It's like making my table vibrate. Um, one, of, one of the things I always spoke about on the streams is that, you know, to, what, in, in terms of whether or not this MonsterVerse is going to continue, I'm, I'm six to one, half a dozen to the other about it. Uh, if they decided to end it, um, you know, I'd be disappointed, of course, but I, I think... Godzilla vs. Kong is a very strong way to end uh, the cinematic MonsterVerse. I don't think the MonsterVerse is going to end overall. I do still think there's going to be a lot of content in terms of comics, uh, figures. I mean, uh, recently there was a line of figures that just got released for pre-order. And for the first time, finally, they have the Larva Mothra. I mean, this is two years removed from 2019. So you're going to see Godzilla stuff all over for the next coming years. Now, in terms of the MonsterVerse, uh, again, we've been through this before. Uh, silence doesn't necessarily mean gloom and doom. And I think that we're probably not going to hear anything the rest of this year. Um, you know, if I'm a guessing man, I know a lot of people talk about, well, the contract ended with Toho. Maybe they're negotiating something. And, you know, that's a possibility. I don't see those negotiations taking very long. I think Toho has done very well to make a decent amount of money. From the MonsterVerse, uh, if you remember, Toho gets, uh, or yeah, Toho gets 100% of the profits of whatever's shown in Japan. So basically, Legendary or Warner Brothers do not pick up any profits when the movie's shown in Japan. That all goes to Toho. Um, so it's basically like free money. You know what I mean? It's free money. Um, I don't think, not to mention whatever they get for Legendary licensing their IPs. 
So between the box office profits plus whatever they're they're getting for the use of Godzilla and Ghidorah, Mothra, and all those other monsters, I think that obviously, you know, and then now Mechagodzilla, I'm sure that was a big one. I'm sure that wasn't cheap. So, you know, it's um, it, the, the, the opportunity for revenue for Toho is too good for them to walk away. Now, there is a chance that perhaps Legendary doesn't want to pay so much money anymore. Or perhaps a chance, you know, right now times are tough and a lot of companies need to find a way to increase revenue. So there is a chance that maybe negotiations have stalled, but not necessarily at the fault of Toho. Again, this is all speculation. I want to make that very clear. This does not mean that, you know, I know something that anybody doesn't. I'm trying to give the best part. I'm sure I don't know if you guys hear my cat in the background. He's I have to put him away when I do videos because if I don't, he'll scratch up my legs. So if you hear him, I apologize. He's just being, he's just frustrated that he's not out here scratching my legs. But anyway, <laughs> so I don't know if you guys hear him or not, but I hear him loud and clear. It's kind of bothering me. Chill out, kitty. You'll be out in a minute. Um, there's another thing, too, that we have to take into account is news. You know, like we haven't gotten much, but you remember in the early part after Godzilla vs. Kong, you know, we had what we thought at the time was very encouraging news in terms of um, we thought at least it was reported that, uh, you know, um, Adam Wingard was going to continue directing some MonsterVerse movies, or at least the next one, and which I believe that was a false report, which is pretty unusual considering I believe it came from either Variety or The Hollywood Reporter. I don't remember which of the two, but those two are pretty reliable sources. And, uh, you know, if you clearly look at the projects that Adam Wingard has coming up, there is no way he's doing another MonsterVerse movie. I think he's got four movies lined up. Um, one of them being the face-off remake or the face-off, you know, uh, reboot. And I know there was at least two other projects. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I remember discussing this on stream, saying that while this is an encouraging report, I don't think this is true. Uh, if it is true that he's going to continue doing a MonsterVerse movie, then what, maybe he'll squeeze it in between some of the other projects? I don't know. But I don't think it's possible because we, all you have to do is look it up. We know what projects he's got coming. And none of them include a MonsterVerse sequel. Um, I think I think we're definitely on um, uh, a fork in the road, so to speak. You know, I the indication coming from Legendary, the indication when you read, uh, if you see right here and behind me, I have the Godzilla vs. Kong. Like, well, now if I just there it is right there. So we read that we read that book on stream once, and towards the end of the book, they were talking about some of the things they look at in the future. And they sounded very optimistic in that book about what plans they have for future movies. Uh, we know that they want to do comics and TV shows. We know there's a Kong show, a Skull Island show coming eventually, an animated show. But I think we're at a fork. I think, I think they are. there is a decision being made. I think there is a lot of deliberation as to whether or not to do another project. Um, I think the reason for that is, number one, Obviously, Godzilla, King of the Monsters did not do well at the box office, no matter what anyone tells you. I know there's still people out there that like to sell the idea that it was it did well and it was profitable. It was not. Um, I am sure that it was profitable after the fact, but box office numbers are very important to companies. You know, even if they make their profits up in DVD sales later, that doesn't necessarily count. They want those profits to be a bonus, not something they require. Uh, I so. Now you look at Godzilla versus Kong and the question is, okay, was this successful because people were thirsty? Did people genuinely like the movie? Could we do another one and still have the same success? And I think the question, the answers to all those questions are like, yes. I do think the pandemic played a big role in the success and the extreme hype for Godzilla versus Kong. I mean, I've done plenty of Godzilla hype up uh, live streams and videos leading up to the release of a Godzilla movie in the MonsterVerse. And I can tell you right now, the hype for Godzilla vs. Kong, in many ways, while it'll never be exactly like it was for 2014, was insane in its own right. Never have I had streams where I had 2,000 people coming in. And yes, I had many streams where we had 2,000, 1,500 people, almost, I mean, it was insane. And people loved the movie. People love the movie, for better or for worse, no matter what. You know, obviously there was a lot cut out in the movie. We all know that. People love the movie. Um, I do think the pandemic had to play a role in that. But I also think 
it's it was a fun movie to watch. I think people generally enjoyed it. I mean, I said since the since the moment we were waiting for this movie to come out, these are two screen icons. People will go see this movie. I do think Pandemic or No Pandemic, Godzilla vs. Kong would have been a great success. And I do think there's a chance that Godzilla vs. Kong could have hit $700 million at the box office without the pandemic. I, I, I sincerely believe that. I, don't think it would, I still don't think it would have made a billion dollars. I don't see that. But I do think it would have been a fantastic success. And I think, one of, I think Legendary knows that. I think the question is, uh, is the uh, not necessarily a question. I think the revelation is that we have to kind of give Kong his credit for that. While we are, a lot of us are Godzilla fans and we kind of joked around and messed around with Kong in the movie and understandable, you know, we knew, I think pre people pretty much knew deep down inside Kong wasn't going to win, but where Kong won was kind of maybe changing the course of the MonsterVerse in his favor. Um, you know, we talked about the possibility that the MonsterVerse could continue underneath the name of Kong. Uh, there were rumors that they were talking about a Kong movie, which... Uh, Son of Kong movie, which I don't believe personally. I don't think that would, in my opinion, be the kind of movie general audiences would want to see. I think once you br bring kid monsters into these movies, I think you're going to lose the general audience. But hey, I've been wrong before, right? Mecha Godzilla. So, you know, but I do think we have to give Kong credit in terms of what he means to the box office, to general audiences. He's going to pull in more general audience members than Godzilla. So I think that Legendary might be looking at this and saying, maybe we should um, hand over the reins. Or maybe if we're going to end this, we shouldn't necessarily put... Because this is Godzilla's universe. So I don't think they would necessarily convert it over to Kong. They might build a new universe with Kong. But I do think if they want to do another MonsterVerse movie, and if, they, and if they are, I just think it's one more. I don't think we're going to get a whole mess of them, although we would love that. I think... Kong is going to be included. And I think the question here now is, how do we do this? Do we make them fight again? Do we make them team up again? And how do we make it as entertaining as the, the one before it? Uh, so I think there's a lot of deliberation, a lot of questions being answered. I do think finances play a role. I do think, you know, contractually with Toho, what they have worked out plays a role. At the end of the day, no matter what's going on behind the scenes that we may or may not know about, we just have to wait. And we've done it before, and every time we've waited, we have always been met with good news in the, at the end of it, no matter how long the wait was. And I think no matter what happens, obviously, I think Godzilla's here to stay. I think that's pretty clear. And even if the MonsterVerse doesn't continue with Godzilla, I do think Toho has incredible plans to do things with Godzilla. We recently saw that nice short with Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. It was a nice five-minute short for Godzilla's birthday. I thought that was a lot of fun to watch, although I also believe it showed just how much uh, the suits are, are aging. I don't think they play well in high definition. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I just kind of wanted to, to do a little catch up and touch up on where we are with the MonsterVerse. Obviously, in terms of news, we know nothing, you know, and now it's just going to wait. I know just as much as you do, everything I've discussed in this video is basically speculation, but it's also speculation based on prior uh, similarities in terms of waiting, in terms of what happens in the end result. Um, if I had to make a prediction, I think we get one more MonsterVerse that includes Godzilla and Kong. And if we get any more monsters, monster movies in the you know down the road from Legendary, I do think it'll be kind of a new chapter that includes Kong with maybe an opportunity for Godzilla to pop up. But I do think Toho is itching to make their Godzilla product now. And I think that, if, if anything, that would be the reason they don't re-sign. But if it's financial, I don't see Toho not uh, extending the contract for at least one more movie. But we'll have to see. Anyway, I think we'll hear something sometime next year. I don't think we're going to hear anything at all the rest of this year. I think if we do hear something, it'll be first quarter next year, uh, at least before the next Comic-Con round. Uh, Comic-Con round. I said Comic Kong. <laughs> the next Comic Con round, and um, which, you know, this last Comic Con, there was nothing. I It went by like a fart in the wind. So hopefully next year we'll get a bigger Comic Con, maybe something that's live, and maybe Legendary will have something to say about the MonsterVerse at that point. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts. Are you frustrated? Do you want to hear something? Are you, 
What, how do you feel about the MonsterVerse right now? I'm okay if it ended with Godzilla vs. Kong. I think that's a strong way to end. And I think that's another thing that they might be wondering. Like, you know, we could end it now. We're ending on a high note. You know, there's no guarantee that the next movie is going to end on a higher note than the last. So let me know in the comment section what you think in terms of the MonsterVerse. And uh, what do you th when do you think we're going to hear something? I personally think first quarter next year, but I want to hear what you guys think. So anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, I will be streaming tomorrow night, uh, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be primarily a Spider-Man stream. I want to uh, peel through the trailer and look at some of the things people have already found, as well as look for things myself and then speculate with you guys in chat. So make sure you uh, to be there. And, uh, and that's it. Have a good one, guys. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy.